My friends, welcome back to another episode of the Hamburg Career Mode. If you watched the last episode, very, very disappointing results in the Champions League. Very promising results in the Bundesliga. We are having a mixed season with a mix of emotions. Let's get into this episode. Maybe we can find out our fate in the Champions League. Maybe we drop down to the Europa League. We don't know what's going to happen. Let's go. Also, by the way, I decided to sit today because I'm feeling a little bit lazy and I didn't feel like standing. I hope you're okay with that. So in the Bundesliga, guys, we are currently currently in fourth place 7-4 and 1 on 25 points one point behind Leipzig who is in third four points behind Frankfurt who is in second and uh, five points behind Bayern Munich who is in first uh, we have a match in hand on Leipzig and on Bayern Munich well in the Champions League after five of six matches played it looks like unfortunately we will be dropping down to the Europa League we can't catch Juventus we may be able to catch Arsenal if they lose to Royal Antwerp and we beat Juventus but it's very very highly unlikely on the schedule today away at Borussia Dortmund massive match home to Frankfurt another massive match both teams are right beside us basically and then we are home to Juventus for our final Champions League in the group stage matches we may find out our fate what happens to us maybe we'll even find out the schedule or the draw I'm not sure this is the way that Borussia Dortmund lines up they have Romelu Lukaku up front Adeyemi Karim Adeyemi on the left hand side Daniel Malin on the right hand side Thomas Partey and Sabitzer in the midfield I mean Shule in the back Hakimi is also there Kobol is in nets this is a very very good team let's travel to the Signal Aduna Park guys and see if we can get three points away against a big giant Borussia Dortmund side Borussia Dortmund is coming out you know what uh if you've been here long enough the the sitting down kind of gives me Bournemouth vibes back in the day because uh during the Bournemouth career mode we used to be sitting down like this and whenever we celebrated you know we'd like wheel out and stuff and do a bunch of crazy things maybe we could bring that back you guys let me know Lukaku will kick off for Borussia Dortmund and they are going to be on the front foot first but uh, they give the ball right to us and Solbakken will carry forward not all is lost yet guys we're having a really good season in the Bundesliga I'm very very proud with the way that we're performing I wish we performed like this in the Champions League but we unfortunately didn't we tried to find Chalonoglu on the left-hand side, but it is intercepted by Daniel Malin, and he will carry. They'll probably try to find Lukaku. So we have to watch out for that. And Mecha, and there is the path to Lukaku, and there is Jonathan Ta. Like I said, we have to watch Lukaku. Adeyemi's got him. But Josh Manoman's got Adeyemi. Ah, Broya is going to be offside. Dorman is playing a little bit sloppy here. They're playing a little bit sloppy. And maybe we can make them pay. But they are on the attack here. Adeyemi is the guy to watch, though. For sure, he's the guy to watch. Joshua Van Omen's got his number again. 40 minutes in. Van Omen. He'll carry forward. He'll go all the way here. He's got to slow it down a little bit. Shot, Chalanoglu. Oh, my gosh. Kakan. Goal of the season has to be. Has to be. What did Chalanoglu do? That is disgusting. Okay? That is filth. Absolute filth from Hakan Chalanoglu. And he says, relax. It's 1-0 Hamburg. Well, before halftime, as halftime is called, Chalanoglu scores, sc uh, scores a worldie. My, my, my. I'm still speechless from that goal. And Mecha. And Mecha to Lukaku. This time it's Hatsi Kadunic that steps in. And we will clear our lines. Broya will collect. We'll go all the way to the other side to Solbak and switch the play up. We see the run being made by Ferai. And we'll lay it off to Broya. Broya gets around the defender. Again, inside. We're playing some wonderful football here. We really are. Hatsi Kadunic. Out wide to Nicolas Pepe. Pepe again around the defender. Nowhere. Shalanoglu. Ah, we tried to feed it to Fedai. They're just not giving us shots. They're giving us space in the box, but they're not giving us opportunities to shoot. We got to find ways to kind of lay it off a little bit and maybe take the opportunity. 77 minutes in. It's a close game, but we are up 1-0 from Shalanoglu's absolute world-class goal. We may need to make some substitutions here. 85 minutes in. It's come down to this. We haven't even had time to make any subs. They're going to go forward all the way here. Here they come. Here comes Partey. Here comes Adeyemi. Lukaku! No! No! Ah! We needed these 
these three points so bad and we deserved them but Borussia Dortmund equalized in the 89th minute it's just so hard to contain just so hard you think Lukaku is gonna shoot but he lays it off and Jonathan Tom moves away from his position to try and cover Lukaku and then it's a shot and it's a goal and it's all tied up well we're gonna make a bunch of changes here in the 89th minute Bobby Golatzel is on see if we can possibly steal one here Bucha is also on so is Rooney Bargy maybe we can go forward here they're gonna give us the opportunity they're definitely gonna give us the opportunity ah but they won't now that's it 93 minutes the ref blows the whistle a disappointing 1-1 draw against Borussia Dortmund away I thought we could have gotten all three points I think we deserved all three points we played them very very well we were very smart but we made one mistake and it cost us two points we only got a point out of this match now we have a very interesting situation happening with Daniele Rugani because he thinks he's not playing enough and he wants to leave the club and now we're getting transfer off for Daniele Rugani. We have one for Marseille, one from Crystal Palace. You guys let me know down in the comments. Do we accept a transfer for Daniele Rugani and let him go? He's been good for us at the club when he plays. Uh, he thinks he doesn't play enough. I think he plays more than enough. We've seen him play in very, very big matches for us, so I don't know what he's talking about. But also at the same time, he's getting up there in age. He's past 30 years old now. He's kind of a veteran, so he's not gonna grow any more than what he is now. So is it best for us to get rid of him now while we uh, have the chance and max on the amounts of money that we can get for him or do we try and kind of rekindle the relationship with Daniele Rugani and play him a little bit more you guys let me know the draw against Borussia Dortmund kept us in fourth place and we have Frankfurt next on the calendar they are in second it's a very very big match because if we lose the match it's not going to be a four point gap between us and Frankfurt it's going to be a seven point gap between us and Frankfurt and we can't let that happen I'm also not sure why Frankfurt is performing as well as they are because looking at their lineup. I mean, it's okay. Beltron, Marmouche, Jakic, Shkiri, Mario Gotze is there, but it's like, it's an okay lineup. Buongiorno, Trap and Nets, but it's it's no way in any shape or form better than ours. I think our lineup has way more quality, so seeing Frankfurt in second place right now is very surprising. We're gonna make two small changes in our starting 11. We're gonna give Valentini a go instead of Hatsi Kadunic. Give uh, Hatsi Kadunic a little bit of a break. Also, Solbakken will take the day off. Nothing personal, Mr. Olamola, uh, but uh, Rooney Bargi is gonna come in and play on the left hand side maybe he can provide some more excitement welcome to the Volkspark Stadion it is Hamburg versus Frankfurt who would have thought that Hamburg and Frankfurt would be uh, battling it out at the top of the table trying to keep pace with Bayern Munich times have changed yes they have we changed them we changed the times Shalanoglu Shalanoglu again oh we love Hakan here Shkiri will carry he'll play it inside to Beltron Beltron do not give him space, guys. Do not give... Marmouche, relax, brother. Holy moly. What's happening? Ferai can come back the other way. Ferai gets around the defender. He can come streaming down the right-hand side. Lay it off. Pepe with his left foot. Ah! We'll go out wide again to the box here. There's the... Oh, my! It's Rooney Bargy. He can't pass the ball, but he can shoot the ball. What a goal. Ferai collects to Rooney. It's a one-tap. Beautiful placement. Oh, my. That is just delicious. That is as delicious as a nice apple pie on Thanksgiving dinner. My gosh, it's 1-0. Bradaric will cut inside. We'll find Rooney here. And Rooney's got space. And that's a nice layoff pass to Broya. Oh, my. What a play. What a goal. It's 2-0 Hamburg here. We said we wanted to extend the lead. And we just did that. Mr. Rooney. Oh, my. The vision to see that run by Broya. That is just absolutely fantastic. First, a tasty goal by Rooney. Now, a tasty pass by Rooney. And Broya is back on the score sheet. 2-0. We don't want to concede or give anything away here before halftime. Ref, blow the whistle. Ref, ref, you can blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, ref. Ref, ref, don't do this. Re the refs are doing it again, guys. They're doing it again to us. They're doing it again. Look at them. They're doing it again. These refs, what's happening? Six minutes. Finally, seven minutes of stoppage time. These refs, they hate us. They absolutely hate us. They want us to concede goals, but we didn't. It's 2-0 Hamburg at half. Bargi in the 28th minute. Broya in the 42nd minute. We got the 2-0 lead as the second half is on the way. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. We, we don't want to do that. There we go. Joshua Noman steps in. 
And Frankfurt is on the attack, but Jonathan Ta is there once again. Jonathan Ta controlling the back line for us. Pepe with a terrible outlet pass yet again. There's the outlet pass to Broya, and now Broya can make the turn, and Broya can make the run, but he can't get there before on Gwene. And we're gonna make five changes. Rugani, Benes, Mahaila, Haji, and Bobby G are coming on for the past, pass for the last 12 to 15 minutes or so. And we see Haji making the run. And then Pepe as well. There's the outlet pass to Pepe. He is covered by Chaibi. We'll play it inside to Haji. Who's making the run here? Bobby. Bobby's there. Can Bobby turn the defender? He can. Bobby Golazzo. He still got it, baby! Bobby G comes onto the pitch. Three points, three nil. Let's go. Bobby Golazzo in the 90th minute with the last kick of the game. And we beat Eintracht Frankfurt. Three nil is the final scoreline. An incredible performance at home. A dominating performance at home, guys. We need to keep on continuing playing like this. From the Bundesliga, we go to the Champions League. Match day six of the Champions League. It is us versus Juventus. This is the way that Juventus lines up. We've seen how they line up. It is Milik and Vlahovic, Rodrigo de Paul, Locatelli and Goretzka in the midfield. Sané on the right-hand side. Danilo, Bremer, Yeri, and Ruli in nets. It's a very, very strong team. It's better than us. I mean, is this our last match in the Champions League? We're just gonna go out and play for pride, I think. I think we're gonna go out and just try and get a win here and uh, just see what happens at the end. We're only making one change in the lineup. Nicolas Pepe is a little bit unfit, so Rooney Bargy will come in on the right-hand side as the right winger. Other than that, everyone else stays the same. We are at home at the Volkspark Stadion, and Juventus is coming to pay us a visit. Match day six of the Champions League. It is full of snow in Hamburg. As Juventus comes to town, it will be a slick surface. So you never know which way this game might go. But Juventus are quality. They are top of the group as expected. Nepal, Locatelli. Hatsi Kadunic does well, but Vlahovic uses his big muscle. But Joshua Noman steps in nice. And will play a counter ball to Solbakken. And Solbakken can make that run. Yes, he can. Solbakken. What can he do? He'll find the pass to Broya. Broya will lay it off. Shot. Oh my. That's a play. That's a goal. That is tasty. That is beautiful. That is Hakan Chalanoglu. Ever since Hakan has been creating and scoring, we've been playing much better. And he plays that nicely. 1-0 Hamburg against Juventus. And even though it might be our last match in the Champions League, we hope that it won't be our last match in Europe because of Europa League, obviously. We'll try and find Ferai. We'll find Chita. And Chalanoglu again. Oh, it's all Hakan here. It's Hakan versus Juventus. Beautiful long ball to Solbakken. An outlet pass. Solbakken slows it down. Ferai. Shot again. The save by Ruli. My gosh. How many chances do we need to have here? It's still only 1-0. We'll go out wide. Out wide. Up high again to Ferai. Chalanoglu back to Chalanoglu. I just couldn't find the pass. That's okay. Locatelli will carry and Joshua Noman will step in. And that is going to be halftime. An absolutely dominating half by Hamburg. It should probably be 2 or 3 nil, but it's only one. Second half. Second 45 minute half. We are underway. Rooney Bargy, hold on. Yep, keep it in. Keep it in. That's it. Keep it in. Chalanoglu again. It's deflected. It's deflected. And Chalanoglu will get another goal. Press the pause, the start button again by accident. I mean, it's the Hakan Chalanoglu show here, guys. It is 2-0. Hakan Chalanoglu is the hero. Solbakken. We see the runs on the outside of the box. Beautiful play. It's 3-0 here. Armando Broya. 59 minutes in. What is happening? Juventus is collapsing. An absolute collapse. In match day six by Juve, Broya lets it go. Back to Broya, he places it. No chance for the goalkeeper. 3-0 Hamburg. Ah, they get around. It's Danilo, Rodrigo de Paul. They make it 3-1. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Not a great goal to concede, but we still have a 2-0 lead. And we're going to make several changes here. Hakan Chalanoglu will come off. So will Armando Broya. So will Joshua Noman. We'll give Yasic a go. We'll give Bobby Golatzel a go. We'll give Mahaila a run out here against Juventus. Mahaila is going forward here. Mahaila! Mahaila! 
Valentin Mihaila. And my gosh, we see Mihaila making a run here. And Mihaila could be in. Mihaila to Bobby. <laughs> Bobby will score in our last Champions League group stage match from Valentin Mihaila. Mihaila didn't want to be selfish. He laid it off to our veteran, Mr. Bobby G, and he tapped it in. And it is 4 1, and I think that's game over. May maybe more. Maybe we got more in us. Maybe it's Bucha that can score too. Bucha, he'll lay it off to Solbakken and he won't score, but. Solbakken! Solbakken! Oh my gosh, Solbakken! <laughs> what just happening here? What is going on? How are we doing this to Juventus? It's 5 1. Juventus absolutely collapsed. Solbakken, he got around the keeper, laid it off into an empty net. Buka with the assist. We put in five against Juventus at home. I think that's the last kick of the game. It is. 5-1, guys. Just an unbelievable result. I, I promise I didn't change the difficulty. I don't change the difficulty whatsoever. Hakan Chalanoglu is definitely the man of the match. Two goals, four attempts. Just absolutely brilliant today. One of the main reasons why we scored so many goals and why we performed so well. But even after beating Juventus 5-1, unfortunately, we did not go through in the group. 3-0-3 on nine points what we did make juventus do is slip from first to second because arsenal of course they beat royal antwerp and arsenal took first place in the group while juventus slipped down to second place with the loss to us we were by far the best third place side in the champions league as you can see in group a it will be barcelona and celtic progressing instead of benfica and bayer leverkusen excuse me benfica and bayer leverkusen they are eliminated and celtic they progress to the round of six 16 out of that group. Real Madrid and Liverpool progress from Group B. That was expected. In Group C, it was Man City 6-0 and Nice, who's probably the second favorite in that group. Slavia Praha gave it a decent run. Young boys were just not good enough. Group D, it was Inter and Shakhtar Donetsk. Leipzig is eliminated out of the Champions League. They'll be dropping down to the Europa League. Group E, AC Milan and Atletico Madrid. RB Salzburg is in third. Victoria Plzen dead last. Group F, of course, our group. Arsenal, Juventus, Hamburg and Royal Antwerp. Group G, PSG, and Spurs progress while AZ Alkmaar and Dynamo Kiev leave the Champions League. And finally, Group H, the biggest surprise, Atalanta, who came in first, Sevilla in second, and Bayern Munich. They are eliminated out of the Champions League and dropping down to the Europa League. That is not good for us. So after 14 matches in the Bundesliga, guys, we're in third place, one point behind Frankfurt, but we have a match in hand on Frankfurt. So if we win our match in hand, we will be in second place, keeping up pace with Bayern Munich. And we know that we got eliminated from the Champions League, but we are in the Europa League and we got our opponent and it is going to be Ajax. We're going to be playing Ajax in a knockout phase of the Europa League. Now, this is what the schedule looks like for the rest of the month. We only have two matches left in December and then it's the transfer window, the January transfer window that is currently happening right now. We have a match against Stuttgart away, home to Mainz, and then we go right into January. In January, if you guys have transfer suggestions, we don't have that much of a budget. We actually only have like 1 million euro left over but if we sell Daniel Rugani like I mentioned earlier in the video maybe we can do something or maybe some pre-contract signings if you guys have some suggestions on maybe who should leave the club to raise some more money let me know down in the comments or maybe some pre-contract signings uh, let me know all that stuff down below but also don't forget about our Europa League journey you can see the schedule for January and then we move into February where on the 19th of February we will take on Ajax and then on the 26th of February we will host Ajax I still think there's a lot that this season has to offer we're still in major competitions we're doing very well in the bundesliga we're still in the pokal don't forget about that and we're in the europa league and maybe we can go deep in the europa league we have a decent squad so we'll see what happens as always my friends thank you very much for watching please hit the like button for me if you enjoy the content take care of yourselves take care of each other stay happy stay healthy always keep smiling and i'll see you guys in the next video on the channel which is probably tomorrow or the next day all right peace 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 Mwah.